Hello, bronies. It's me, Clayton. I just got out of seeing the seventh episode of the seventh season of My Little Pony, Parental Glidance, written by Josh Hamilton, and it's about Rainbow Dash, but also Scootaloo. And just like I like a Ra Rarity and Sweetie Bell's episodes, as well as Apple Bloom and Applejack's episodes, I also like the relationship between Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash. So the story here is that Scootaloo has to go th has to go for through a report on uh, a pony that's inspirational. So of course she chooses Rainbow Dash and she heads over to Cloudsdale to find out some more information about how, what she's done in Cloudsdale and how it can help her report. When she arrives, she meets Rainbow Dash's parents, who are Rainbow Dash's biggest overall fan fans. Uh, they're the overly supportive parents who the who their child would be embarrassed about. Kind of reminds me of my parents, honestly. Any, anyways, once Scootaloo tells them that her, that Rainbow Dash is a Wonderbolt, they of course go over to the Wonderbolt Academy and cause Rainbow Dash to be insanely embarrassed at various scenarios until it eventually gets a little overbearing for her. But that's all I'll say about the story, so I'll just tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about the episode and hit you with a rating. So, what I liked about this episode was the fact that there is there is a lot of fanboy and fan girlish humor, especially considering Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash's parents overreact and almost everything Rainbow Dash has achieved, which, don't get me wrong, Rainbow Dash has achieved some amazing things. There's reasons she has the confidence that she does, but it also but it is pretty funny to see a lot of these uh, a lot of these accomplishments getting overplayed for the sake of humor. That as such, there's also plenty of references to the other episodes that involve Rainbow Dash and the Wonderbolts, including some quick callbacks to Wonderbolt Academy and Rarity Investigates, both of which are episodes that I really enjoyed, and both of which have some callback humor without feeling like those sections were a part of a recap episode. Also, I liked the message of the episode, considering it was about it was a du double-edged sword. It was about Rainbow Dash trying to accept her parents' support without being embarrassed, and also her parents trying to tone down the amount of support they were showing, because sometimes their support goes so over the top that it becomes downright obnoxious. I like that both sides had to learn a message here, and I like the fact that both sides got something out of this experience. It's also nice to see that it was really Rainbow Dash's parents who are the cause of Rainbow Dash's overconfidence throughout her, most of her life. Rainbow Dash has always been a cocky and narcissistic character, and we've both enjoyed and been annoyed at that very that portion of her character. But it's nice that there's a reasonable explanation for why she's like that, th because of the way Rainbow Dash's parents act. Because since children are very impressionable, it makes sense for Rainbow Dash to act that way, considering the, how her, how her parents act and how enthusiastic they are at practically everything she does. Also, the animation of this episode was stellar as always. They, the show's staff always does a good job when they're animating the Wonderbolt's different flying routines. It's very much like watching the Blue Angels, except it's a bunch of ponies in, in flight suits. You know, it looks great. And also, I liked some of the stuff, most most of the stuff with Scootaloo because even though Scootaloo's a Pegasus who can't fly, she's a very endearing character who's always ma ma manages to get me interested, con considering her enthusiasm, her love for anything Rainbow Dash related, and the fact that they feel like sisters even though Rainbow Dash is not her real sister. They they're just that close in my opinion. Now, I haven't, I don't think Josh Hamilton has written any other My Little Pony episodes before, but he, but his writing fits right into the type of humor and the type of storytelling for this type of, of show. And since the series has had a huge amount of writers over the years, I don't think I'll be able to keep track of all of them, but when it comes to the overall writing for this season, both the old and the new writers have been able to piece together great episodes with, without even breaking a sweat. And this episode was no exception. So, with plenty of good humor, a good message for both parents and kids, and and for providing one of the better episodes featuring the Wonderbolts and Rainbow Dash, I give this episode an 8 out of 10. See you next time, bronies.